seven. I go to Denton Geyer High School and I'm also a senior. Uh, I plan to go to Texas A&M next year and Woo. study chemistry. <laughs> the life is out there. Um, for my project, I decided to do something with pets because that's something that's very important to me and my family. Uh, my dad's a vet, so it runs in the genes. <laughs> um, I organized a training for pet oxygen masks for fire departments and uh, developed a protocol with the help of Texas A&M vet team. <laughs> Right? A&M related. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I uh, did that and I got in contact with a company that helped donate the masks to a bunch of fire departments around my house and then uh, they came down and did a full length like two hour training and taught them how much oxygen should go into the masks and uh, basically just a bunch of stuff like that and resuscitation things like that. So, alright, so I can't help myself, you know, this gold word. Both of them have really good sustainable projects, and that's one of the things we're really looking for. Um, Devin sort of left out the part where they created like a whole protocol at AM, and it's actually available for any fire department to use. And she put in touch um, all the fire departments with places that provide the masks for free, so that she really was able to make it very sustainable. And and statistically, when families are faced with fires, they tend to. Um, if they have pets and they lose them, it's a much harder adjustment. It's bad enough having a fire in your house, but if you lose your family pet too, so this is to help as well. And Saruthi, she educated all of these fourth graders on the potentials that STEM have for the future, and we all know that STEM is one of those areas that we're really looking to um, for more opportunities going forward, especially if we can, our research shows if we can get girls especially girls, but she did girls and boys, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, but girls, if we can get them interested in STEM early, they're more inclined to do it. But if we wait until like most of your ages, it's almost too late by then. So going early is definitely the way to go. And her curriculum is continuing on and they're gonna be using it again. So, I mean, her, her um, work is sustainable and continuing when they're both at college, it'll still go on. So that's the kinds of things that we're really looking to make a difference in the community, and that's what our Girl Scout program is about. And we should be proud as Girl Scouts to talk about these things and tell people how we're making those big differences in the communities. And that's why we have programs like this too, so you girls can meet each other and, and learn about what's going on and also to have mentor opportunities and maybe make a connection that you can do some job shadowing and, you know, and, and kind of build from there. So um, we're really proud of them. And they'll, I can't, well, we know you're going to A&M, but I can't wait to hear where Sarithi goes. And today she told me she actually applied to my alma mater, so now I'll be pushing her there. <laughs> so, um, but they have to leave because they have to go do some of their own um, 